So this is, as mentioned, a short tube. It's just a 400mm F5 focal length. So if high power planetary work is, is your thing, then this scope is not for you, I would say. But if you like looking at Richfield star clusters and some of the brighter nebula and galaxies, etc. from a, a dark sky area, then yes, this is very suitable. But it's also to, suitable for absolute beginners and um, even supervised children due to it giving a very wide field of view. And the eyepiece I've got in at the moment is a 20mm which gives 20 magnification. And also it comes with an erect image 90 degree mirror diagonal. And so that fine that uh, makes it very user friendly for finding your way around. So and with it being erect image you can actually use it on terrestrial targets, ships at sea and with a close focus of just five meters it's perfect for looking at birds in the back garden. So it comes with a basic AZ mount or alt azimuth. The, the legs are the same as you get on the Power Seeker um, EQ telescopes but with an AZ head. So talking of which the AZ very easy to use, very smooth left and right movement there with a little tightening knob there and for up and down movement this here you can slacken that off then it moves up and down very freely or you can tighten that into place and then here you've got your fine tuning for up and down movement so the eyepiece or the eyepieces you get with this telescope you get the 20 magnification one there 20 millimeter you also get this 4mm that will give 100 times magnification if you want to look at the moon in a bit more closer detail. It's, it's not a high quality eyepiece so you might want to upgrade that at some point to a plossal. And um, it comes, I say sadly, with this 3 times Barlow which is of no use whatsoever with the 4mm because it will give 300 magnification, that's way too much. But it can give 60 magnification with the 20mm eyepiece. Unfortunately, because it's long, there is not enough outward travel to there is not, not enough travel on the focuser to get focus. So you have to take the diagonal out, put the barlow there, and put your eyepiece on the end of the barlow. And sadly that does give it an upside down image. So but I did find that you can actually um get short tube barrel lenses that work perfectly well with this telescope. Uh, regards an extra eyepiece, because it's a wide field scope, I would definitely, well I did, I tried my Olivon 32mm Plossel which gives 12.5 magnification, so it's a 12.5 times 80 and the, the view from that was absolutely stunning, just perfect for finding your way around the night sky. So, excuse me while I turn the telescope around and reposition the camera. Well, we have a look at the other side. So as standard you get a 5x24 uh, basic visual finder scope there but it does have the connection so you can fit a, a, a red dot finder on if you prefer. But also down here it has a hot shoe connection so you can put many more finder scopes on the telescope. And here I have a Skywatcher 9x50 and all of a sudden that is um, that has just transformed the telescope into a very nice piece of kit. And so you can actually have two people using it at the same time. You can have somebody viewing through there with a 9x50 and you've also got a 20 times 80 so you can go from one to the other or you can have that as a visual aid and have a DSLR camera on here. Bearing in mind it is quite a lightweight tripod so don't try to do some photography on a windy night and definitely use the um, self timer if you've got one. So that, that's it really, a very versatile little telescope and with the addition of a a nice finder scope on the side, it, it suddenly transformed 
into an excellent all-round choice. So that's pretty much it, a uh, quick rundown of the Celestron Power Seeker 80 AZS. Thank you very much for watching as always and please check out the links in the description below.